how you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are leaving viewers on edge. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. Strange balls of light have been captured on film since the camera was first invented in the late 1800s. Most of the time these lights are attributed to reflections of other light sources, dust, insects, or maybe even just a delayed flash from the camera itself. One video uploaded by Redstone on YouTube has been making viewers theorise as to what's been caught on camera, with ideas ranging from fallen angels to a UFO. The video shows footage as shot from the inside of a window. The sky is completely grey and the weather is rainy, though in the skyline we can see what looks like a large, very bright ball of light. The light seems to suddenly expand, coming straight towards the window before retreating once again. A few moments later, an ambiguous long black shape appears to be thrown out of the light resembling a stick. Although on closer inspection it appears to come from below the ball of light. Here it is in slow motion. The light then grows larger once more, racing towards the window before evolving back into a tiny speck. Theories are wide and ranging, including the idea that the light is just a reflection of another light or lamp inside the house. Others have suggested a UFO, a ball of lightning, angels, and even Project Bluebeam, a conspiracy of a new world order. One that believes that manufactured miracles will bring about a false religion designed to control the masses. The light's expansion and retreat are certainly intriguing and worth a second look though the person who filmed the video has never explained what they believe the light was. The unknown black object that seems to appear is also mysterious. So what could be happening here? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Did you know you can submit your own paranormal photos and videos? There are currently two ways to submit your content. Firstly, on the amazing Slaptam subreddit. Here we have a growing community of paranormal fans showing off their mysterious wares. It's a great place to meet other Slaptam fans and discuss all things weird and wonderful. Secondly, you can submit your content directly via email. Send your photos and videos to submissions at hammedia.net. The address is written on screen now. There's links to these two submission options in the description box below. People put up security cameras around their homes hoping to not have to catch something bad on tape. But unfortunately, these cameras will capture something off-putting from time to time. A video uploaded by Sleuth Juice on Imager saw something that would send shivers down any homeowner's spine. The clip shows footage as seen from a security camera outside of the uploader's house. Viewers can see the porch and some of the street outside. Standing directly in front of the house is a man wearing a beanie. The man slowly climbs the stairs that lead to the house. He stops right before the porch and looks upwards. Viewers can now see that he's wearing a strange dark mask. The man stops in front of the door, looking up as if inspecting it. He stands in this exact position for 30 seconds, before he quickly turns away and the video ends. The man is certainly creepy in his own right, though thankfully nothing transpired that evening. The fact that the man's wearing a mask has led many to believe that the man was a potential robber surveying the house. Others were sure the man was perhaps mentally unwell and was wandering around the neighborhood in some kind of a daze. One final suggestion was that the man may have been just looking for the right address, though why would he be wearing such a creepy mask? 
This is a question that is yet to be answered. One bout of paranormal activity is terrifying enough, but what about when your entire house seems to be overtaken by an unfriendly spiritual entity? TikTok user Amark8 Haunting has unfortunately found himself in this predicament, and even with getting help, continues to find himself horrifyingly haunted. In the first clip the TikTok user uploaded to the platform, we see the interior of the user's house. I don't mean any harm. I just heard a noise up here. The narrator mentions that he had just heard a strange noise that came from the room he's currently in. He pans the camera around, asking any potential paranormal figures to give a sign that they're in the room. If you're here, can you give me some kind of sign that you're here, something on the shelf? He asks the spirit to move something on the shelf as seen in front of him. Watch what happens. Can you please move something on the shelf? What the? The second clip finds the narrator in the hallway of his home. A ceiling light is swinging above him. He then goes to a door and slowly pushes it open. It makes an eerie sound as it creaks open. Inside the empty room, something eerie is caught on camera. Take a look. Oh. Oh, God. The third clip shows what looks to be an app that can allegedly communicate with spirits. Take a listen to what the app captured. Who is scaring the dog? Demon. The video then cuts to footage of a dog sitting on the floor of the home, when something truly unsettling takes place. Whoa! Whoa. As you can see, what looks to be a large speaker falls down, forcing the dog to jump back in surprise. Whoa! Whoa. The man then speaks to the app once again. Listen like to what it says. Do you like, Do you like the, dog? the dog? No. We can see smashed objects on the ground at the beginning of the fourth clip, seemingly having fallen from the open cupboards. A few seconds into the clip, the open cupboard doors suddenly all slam shut and the cameraman backs up into another room. There's a shrill scream that doesn't seem to belong to the camera holder. The final clip shows viewers another view of the ghost app with the narrator asking the app if there's anyone in the room. Is there anybody here with us? On screen we see text explaining that there was once a man named Jack who lived in the home 20 years back. The man had had a stroke and was forced to a care facility where he later died. The voice suddenly replies, Jack. Is there anybody here with us? Jack. Jack. What did the old man say about old Jack that lived here? I swear to God he told us that today. The man asks another question. What does Jack want? What does Jack want? Stroke. The man then confirms that Jack had indeed died of a stroke. Jack had a stroke. He did have a stroke, he said. Most of the viewers of this TikTok series had recommended that the homeowner seek help, whether through a medium, exorcist or priest. The creator of the videos has insisted that he's attempted to get help before to rid his home of these scary spirits, but the activity in his home is still continuing regardless. 
Could it be that the haunting of this house is far beyond the help of any typical paranormal investigator? Could the spirit of Jack have come back for some type of ghostly revenge? Give the clips another watch and judge for yourself. EVPs or electronic voice phenomena have been shared by plenty of paranormal investigators over the years. Some believe that if you use the right equipment, you can communicate with the dead. Many EVPs have recorded creepy voices saying strange things, but occasionally recorded voices go from odd to downright horrifying. That may have been the case with a Reddit video shared by user Nardog for real. In the very brief clip, we see footage from inside of a kitchen. Immediately in the background, we can hear a rough sounding voice. Listen to what it says. If we play it back again, it sounds like it says, why can't I die? The next few moments are silent before the brief clip concludes. Interestingly, many viewers of the video heard the voice actually saying, why can't they die, rather than the phrase the video uploader heard initially. For many, this made the video much, much creepier. There have been suspicions that the voice could have easily have been made by a man, speaking shakily into a can, or perhaps recording the voice beforehand and altering the sound. As there's no clear source of the voice in the clip, it's very much possible. Though, there's always the possibility that there's one unhappy spirit wandering this Redditor's home. Homes are meant to be places where we feel safe and relaxed. Unfortunately, there's a lot that can happen that can diminish that home sweet home feeling, including paranormal activity. YouTube user Haunting Jersey caught this exact situation for everyone to see. We can see a young girl sitting on the floor of the YouTuber's house, holding a cat. The girl plays with the cat for a few moments before something eerie happens. Take a look. As you can see, a chair at the dining room table suddenly moves backwards, presumably all on its own. The girl stares at the chair for a moment before the chair moves back again, this time even faster. The video ends just as the girl jumps up from the floor. Some viewers have noted that it's suspicious that the person holding the camera turned the camera to look at the chair just before it moved, and that he or she had also moved back at the same time. Because of this, they're sure that the video was staged. Still, others believe that this was proof of something ghostly going on in the home. But as always, I'll throw this out to you, the viewer. Some string attached to the chair or a genuine spooky visit? Let me know what you think down below. Reddit user BigDirk17 noticed something eerie going on in a local factory he was working in. In the clip uploaded to Reddit, the cameraman pans up to the ceiling of the factory. We can see several light fixtures that seem to be completely normal. Yeah, it's gross apparently. The camera then pans back further, and we can now see a light fixture that appears to be swinging all on its own. It's gross, apparently. Take a picture here. This goes on for a few moments before the brief video ends. It's gross, apparently. Take a picture here. In the post, the Reddit user explained that at this particular factory, an electrician had allegedly died 15 years back due to a mechanical error. The workers at the factory mentioned that the light fixture swings of its own accord at random moments during the day. Still, most who have viewed the post believe this could simply be a case of an air draft blowing through the large factory. 
So is this a regular airflow or the ghost of the former electrician? That question remains hotly debated to this day. Before we take a look at some creepy footage of an eerie figure walking through a restaurant after hours, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to click that like button right in the middle. Click, 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 click. We like to think of restaurants as fun places to enjoy good food and create memories with family and friends. But like every other place on the planet, things can get creepy once the lights turn off. Viewers can see footage as shot from the interior of a restaurant at night time. In the focus of the frame are empty tables. Immediately to the left, we can see what looks like a ghostly figure walking past the tables very slowly. The figure appears to be short and has a strange white and hazy quality. The figure walks across the room before disappearing off frame to the right. Here's a close up in slow motion. The white features of the figure are certainly eerie, as is the slow gait of the possible ghost. The restaurant hasn't released a statement or given any indication as to what this strange figure could be, leaving this to be a complete mystery. Perhaps it's just a friendly spirit looking for a midnight snack, or does this ghost have more sinister intentions? Now if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise we have a massive curated paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now remember to hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment down below. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. 